awesome having a bull. So much fun, so relaxing, so refreshing. Ah, it's great. Except, except when you get down into your hot tub and you realize, oh, you got the scaly nasties. And then you sit in your hot tub with your friends and they notice it too. And they start going, what is wrong with you? You gotta figure it out. And that's where your pumice stone and your magic eraser come in. Now watch this. First things first, I learned this the hard way. What you gotta do is you gotta put on some gloves because that pumice stone, once you start going for it on the tile for, you know, <laughs> 15, 20 minutes or so, it will shred your skin. So go ahead and get some kind of gloves like these ones and then watch this, watch this, watch. Here's what we do. Take that pumice stone and you just get in there like this and you know, that, you don't think so. You think, oh, it's gonna destroy my tiles. But listen, look, it's not gonna destroy your tiles. What it's gonna do is it's gonna destroy that calcium deposit and your tile's gonna be just fine. Watch, watch. Yup, scratch, scratch, and it disappears. The uglies are going and they're gone, gone. I feel so satisfying. And yep, you're gonna go through a whole bunch of these. And that's why I bought a 20 pack off of Amazon, or you can get them for a dollar each at the dollar store. But you're gonna keep going for it. Don't worry, you can rub your finger across your tile and you'll see it's still nice and smooth. And uh, this is gonna do all it's designed to do. It's gonna get that stuff off of there. All right, so it took me about a total of a half an hour to do the inside of the spa, but check it out. I mean, if you come a little closer, I mean, I'm finishing it off with a little bit of magic eraser, but come on. That is amazing. You saw the before, and now you see the after. I can invite my relatives and my family in here, and I don't have to feel embarrassed or ashamed. <laughs> the pumice stone, the magic eraser, I mean, these things go a long way. And you know what? A little bit of pumice is gonna get in the water, no problem, your filter can deal with that but this is how you get it done. Okay, so sometimes you got some heavier buildup though, like in these areas here, what you do, <laughs> don't worry, you're not gonna break anything as long as you do it right. Take your hammer, regular old hammer, and you just do light taps, light taps, just enough, and if you were close, you could see it's breaking apart the surface of, of this gunk. You see how it's flaking off? And that's what you wanna have happen. Flaking off, flaking off, flaking off. Ah, it's so satisfying. <laughs> Don't hit too hard though, because you could end up uh, cracking the tile. But you can see, look, zero in on this and you'll see we're making progress. And that was just a few taps. That's all you gotta do to get rid of this stuff. And then come and take uh, your pumice stone and hit the pumice stone at it, just like you did in the other areas. And you're gonna see, little by little, your beautiful spa and pool coming back to life the way you originally intended it. So get after it, get some calcium, destroy, you can do it. Yeah, nobody likes to see this stuff. What is this? Why does that have to be messing up my pool? But look, that pumice stone and tap tap technique, I did it on this side. Look at that, crystal clear. Looks amazing. There's no shortcut though. You gotta get ready for some, some work. You gotta put some elbow grease into that tap, tap, scour, scour, and that's gonna be gone. Look how good that came out. And pumice stone goes a long way. Turns out I didn't even really need the magic eraser, but it was still fun to use it. You've got to try this. You'll be so satisfied with the results. Well, it's looking good. I mean, this is two weeks later and it's still looking amazing. A final tip would be take it easy on the hammer. I did notice that there's a section of tiles where it was a little bit, uh, a little bit hollow sounding and if I would have hit a little bit too hard, I could have busted out a tile. So be careful, don't hit too hard with the hammer approach. But otherwise, I hope it works. I hope it works out great for you. You know, as I was doing this work, kind of scaling off all of that, uh, that deposit and, and all of that uh, ugliness, it just started making me think about how 
Each one of us has a need inside to get some of the ugliness dealt with that we sometimes feel and experience in our lives. And I know you came and watched this video to figure out how to get your pool looking a little bit better, but I wouldn't be doing you right if I didn't share a little bit of something with you. What I've discovered and I'm enjoying so much in my life is that through the grace and mercy of my God, I'm able to experience almost a daily, even hourly experience of, of being cleansed, of, of having some of the scummy stuff dealt with so that my life looks more like like I hope it would. And so as I wrap up this video, I just want to say to you, there is a way for your heart, your soul, your mind, all of who you are to be cleansed. And it comes through the mercy of God shown in Jesus Christ. If you want to know more about that, leave a comment and we can talk. Hey, God bless you.